I'm going to tell you today why the national media has got it wrong on Trey Lance. You heard quotes out there. Jimmy G gives the 49ers the best chance to win. Oh, the 49ers have uncertainty at quarterback. Why has Kyle Shanahan not named Trey Lance a starter? Guess what? All of those are coming from people that do not pay close attention to the team. Trey Lance proved in 2021, his rookie year, even though only he got 10 quarters of play time, he is the man to lead the 49ers in 2022. Trey Lance demonstrated yards per play that he is much more efficient and explosive. The numbers back it up. If you look at what Trey Lance was able to accomplish, 7.76 yards per play when Lance was under under center. Now, if you look at Jimmy Garoppolo, even though he has a larger sample size, 6.3. That's an 18% increase in total offensive production, and that was in Trey Lance's rookie year, one of those games which he played with almost a broken finger that he couldn't even on his throwing hand. It didn't matter. I mean, I could manage it, you know, but it's a, it's a finger, so it's kind of it's hard. I guess the process for me was a kind of... It, didn't get straight all the way was kind of the issue uh, so right away I couldn't squeeze why I didn't throw uh, after that preseason game uh, and then yeah it's kind of as the season goes on it kind of starts straightening straightening more and more and swelling goes down and uh, but it's just a thing that takes time he was able to bring more to the running game and passing game than Jimmy Garoppolo was now I think Jimmy was the right play in 2021 but it's time to move on Kyle Shanahan is notorious for being one of the best run play callers and designers in the NFL. Well, guess what? With Trey Lance at quarterback, you get even more of a running game than you did with Jimmy Garoppolo. It's not like you need to practice running the ball a lot. You know, it's not like he's going to practice bouncing off guys and stuff and, and practice, you know. When you put a quarterback run in, it's more based off of an element of the defense isn't accounting for him. Um, so you just run it till they account for him, then you go to other stuff. Um, so you take what they give you. The 49ers last year in 2021 had the fifth most rushing attempts in the NFL at 29.3 attempts per game. However, if you look at the difference with Jimmy was starting and Trey Lance was starting, those numbers went up. Okay, 33.4 attempts per game rushing attempts when Trey Lance was starting over 29.3 on the year. So you're getting those extra four to five carries a game, and Kyle Shanahan can do more with those than anybody else. Now, I, I don't think that the 49ers are going to turn Trey Lance into Lamar Jackson and get him 10 rush attempts a game. The, the, the one game where you saw Arizona and him use like that again is throwing him was hurt. Big reason for the high use of rush attempts. Now, even if Trey Lance only rushes the ball one, two, or three times a game, which I think is about where he'll be, design runs I'm, I'm talking about not scrambles things like that it forces the linebackers to freeze and wait a little bit on those zone reads which opens up the running game for running backs the primary ball carrier now let, let's go back to the air Debo Samuel had an incredible year last year over 1700 yards total yards on the year well guess what people that are saying that Debo might rescind or go back to the mean I don't think they paid attention when Trey Lance was in the game, half, half of Debo's six receiving touchdowns happened in the 10 quarters that Trey Lance was quarterback, not Jimmy Garoppolo. If we look at the numbers, it's incredible, okay? Jimmy Garoppolo played 1,085 snaps. That resulted in three receiving touchdowns from Debo Samuel. That's one touchdown pass for every 361 snaps that Jimmy Garoppolo took. Trey Lance played 179 snaps. Resulted, exact same, three touchdown passes for Debo. So that's one touchdown for every 59 snaps for Trey Lance. Now, obviously, I don't think Debo is going to have a 20 touchdown receiving touchdown year, but I fully expect his receiving touchdowns to increase his rushing touchdowns to decrease. Back to the running game. This is one of the first times we'll see Kyle Shanahan with the true 11-on-11 11 11 scheme advantage. When you have an unmobile quarterback like Jimmy Garoppolo, he just hands the ball off. He's not a threat to carry anything. Now with Trey Lance, we haven't seen a mobile quarterback and Kyle Shanahan combined. You got to go back a ways, all the way back to 2012, and that was Robert Griffin III, who won 
Offensive Rookie of the Year over Andrew Luck that year because of what he could do with his feet and with his arm with Kyle Shanahan. Just one more thing for the defenses to focus on. Back to the passing game. Trey Lance and his arm. The return of the deep ball, baby. Chicks love the deep ball. Jimmy Garoppolo had an average depth of target of 7.6 yards. Trey Lance, 10.3. You're adding almost three yards per pass attempt deeper, which stretches the defense vertically deep. You look at, you know, big time throws, throws over 20 yards in the air. Jimmy Garoppolo had 39 pass attempts that qualified for that in 2021, or 7.6% of his pass attempts in general. He had four touchdowns and three interceptions on 20 plus yard throws. Trey Lance, well, guess what? He had 13, but 18.3%. So you are doubling, you're almost doubling the amount of throws that are 20 plus yards down the field with Trey Lance. He had two touchdowns and one interception. So listen to me and hear me say this loud. The time for Trey Lance is now. The doubters, you're on notice. I hope you keep that same energy after he proves you wrong. Trey Lance will be the 49ers quarterback in 2022, and he is going to leave everybody speechless.